what I look for is a well-rounded student who is enthusiastic about working in the business world, who has and needs to um, show him or herself yet in the world and has a lot to prove. And assuming they come to me with value and can explain to me what that value is, I think we are more than excited to offer them an opportunity to fulfill their needs in learning more about business. Um, and I, I'm more impressed by somebody who has the excitement, the passion, the uh, desire to yet prove themselves in the business world than somebody that walks into me with uh, you know, a, a resume full of lots of titles that uh, doesn't deliver anything to me. I think the value of internships has increased tremendously in the last decade and I would encourage all students to have internships. Um, I almost demand it on candidates that I'm looking at and the more you have the better it is. Um, I'm not sure I'm <clears throat> I need it to be an internship that has an, a big name company, a big name title, um, a certain product or industry. I want to know from that internship what you've learned and what value it adds to you to deliver to me. Well, I think the biggest thing that students take away from an internship is <clears throat> the reality of the working world compared to the academic world. And there is a huge gap of, between an undergrad walking out the door with a degree of entitlement and the fact that when they get to the real world, it's not the same. And, you know, they're not going to get as many accolades in the real world, in the business world, until they prove themselves. And there is no entitlement. The only thing that degree does is get them in the door, and then they have to prove themselves. I think to be successful in an internship, the student has to, I keep using the word value, it has to, the student has to deliver a value to the business. And that value can take lots of different forms. Um, Every company looks for uh, a different result of the internship, but what I want the person to get out of it is growth in their um, professional resume and their professional delivery. Uh, even if it's that you sat in a corner and uh, uh, did data entry work all day long, <clears throat> or if you sat in a boardroom and delivered a speech to um, uh, the chairman. Uh, I, I want that person to take away the fact of they increased their value and increased their self-confidence in what they can deliver. Networking is extremely valuable to anyone looking for a job, whether it's a recent college grad or somebody that's been in the workforce for 20 years. I, I think that the, the value of the networking not only opens doors for people, because that network will have opportunities available for them, but it also helps them decide whether or not they like a specific career that that network is approaching them with and has experience in. Um, invaluable opportunity to ask questions of somebody in a network of a career that they don't know anything about. And, uh, you know, I, a lot of <clears throat> recruiting firms now will tell you on a resume, not to put down your hobbies and your interests and all that, and I totally disagree. I think you should put down all of your community involvement, you should be involved in the community, and uh, you should put down your hobbies and interests, I mean respectfully, you don't need to put down silly ones, but all of that is a connection factor to people looking at your resume. And it, often you find those opportunities and jobs through connections. And that connection can be just because you know somebody who knows somebody or that that person connects to what you're interested in and that's an opening line for them. So I, you know, all you need is an open door and every networking opportunity is an open door. A student looking for an opportunity needs to first feel good about who they are and the value they add. They need to be able to deliver that to a prospective employer. Um, they need to be able to show that um, what they've accomplished in their life they feel good about and they've gained experience and knowledge from every facet of their life, whatever that is. Socially, community-wise, professionally, 
uh, athletically, whatever it is. And I want to know as an employer, when you walk in my door that first day, what are you delivering to me based on all the experiences you've had in your life? It's one thing to have somebody help you write a resume. It's another thing for you to be able to deliver the person that's behind that resume. And when you walk in my door, no matter what age you are, you better feel comfortable about yourself in delivering who you are to me because that will make me want you. Unlike most interviewers, I don't spend a lot of time looking at the resume. I only look at it for headline topics that I want to bring up. And I want you to talk to me. I want you to tell me who you are. I want you to lead me through the things in life that were of value to you that you learned from. If that was academic, that's great. If that was athletically, that's great. If that was uh, socially, that's great. Uh, if that was community-wise, it's even better. I'm a firm believer that if you deliver things to your community, you're a more well-rounded person. Uh, you need to look for those. You need to look for those things that are fun for you and that you can deliver well. And that can mean the smallest thing to people or the biggest thing to people, but you need to go after it. Most recruiters these days, professionally, uh, professional recruiters, um, no longer recruit by proactively calling into businesses and seeing if you want to fill a job. They use LinkedIn and they will see who you know and who you're connected to at whatever level it is and connect to those people too. So it's a huge selling feature for every recruiter. It's interesting how most managers will instantly go to LinkedIn to look for somebody's profile, profile like they will on Facebook, but yet don't use it as an engagement process. They just want to look at their pictures, etc. And um, I think it's a huge selling tool, or if your LinkedIn profile matches your resume and how I'm looking at you. To me, it's a check mark. It's to say, yes, you are the person on this resume socially also and you're not somebody different in this resume than you are to the rest of the world. And that's a huge check mark to know, it's like doing a background check on somebody.